I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Congratulations, International School of the Americas, Class of 2022! Good morning, everyone. My name is Atasi Matabushi. And my name is Ethan Guerrero, and it is our honor and privilege to be your Masters of Ceremonies for the Class of 2022 Graduation Ceremony. I would like to begin today's ceremony by speaking about something that makes ISA so special, experiences. ISA teaches through experiences, experiences with each other, on trips, in the real world, and in our own community. We have learned so much outside of the four walls of a classroom, seeing firsthand how anywhere can be a classroom and anyone can be a teacher. Over the last four years, we have recognized so many perspectives, communicated so many ideas, investigated almost every inch of our ISA world, and taken action on the things we want to change. We learned that it truly means to be a global and how to put it into practice. It is true that we are all grateful for the great gift ISA has given us and have felt the warmth of this community. But as anything rewarding usually is, our time at ISA has also been challenging. Together, we have grappled with abnormal high school stuff like freezing in the cold and nearly starving in Arkansas, a global pandemic, and planning a week-long trip to Washington, D.C. in the middle of said pandemic. As we mourn what we have lost in nearly two years, which have been consumed by the pandemic, let us not forget all that we have learned during this time. Through grief and suffering, we have found incredible strength in our communities, in our teachers, our school, and most importantly, in each other. We are honored to have spent the last four years of our lives with you all, and even more honored to spend today celebrating and reflecting on all we have accomplished together. So let us carry these memories and experiences in our hearts as we celebrate the completion of high school and venture on to the next steps in our lives. Graduates, families, friends, and distinguished guests. Welcome to the commencement ceremony of the International School of the Americas, Class of 2022. Your endless support throughout the years has made this day possible. Diplôme, famille, ami et invité distingué. Bienvenue à la cérémonie commencement du Lycée international des Américains, classe de 2022. Votre soutien cette année a contribué à rendre ce jour si possible. Namaste, snatako, parivaro, dosto, or vishit atitikan. मेरा नाम शिवानी है और आज मैं हिंदी में बोल करती हूँ। आप सब को इंटरनेशनल स्कूल ऑफ़ अमेरिकास की 2022 की श्रेणी का प्रारंभ समारोह में सुस्वागत। साल भर में आप सब के अंताहिन समर्थन से इस दिन को संभव बनाया। Gowei Bienvenidos, queridos graduados, familiares, amigos e invitados distinguidos a la ceremonia de graduación de la Escuela Internacional de las Américas, clase de 2022. Muchas gracias por su apoyo a lo largo de los años que ha hecho posible este día. A 
السلام علیکم آئی ایس اے میں معین رزاق ہوں اور میں دو ہزار طالب کا علم ہوں آج میں اردو زبان میں بات کرنے کی کوشش کر رہا ہوں جو پاکستان میں اور کوئی جگہ انڈیا میں بولتے ہیں اور سمجھتے بھی ہیں یہ میرے لیے فخر کی بات ہے میں طالب علموں والدین اور انٹرنیشنل اسکول آف امیرکا کے فلاحی افراد کو کچھ عام دے کہہ رہا ہوں نیامین ہومین آلیم انٹو ہوم آمین تھوبتیا یا ہومتیا ایم پاکو کومی سینٹو نانی سا ایم الیکا انٹرنیشنل کلاس وہ مانی اومانی تھاک سینو تھاک آما ہوئے ایم پو آنی نوتے ہوئے ان کاتی ایم ماریچی واری کیا Our first speaker today, I'm sure, is a man who needs no introduction. He has served as the principal of ISA since 2016, and more importantly, is a parent, teacher, role model, and inspirational global citizen that everyone at ISA looks up to. As our principal, he has shown us how to take on challenges and adapt to our changing world. My favorite memory of him has to be from DC, as he watched in awe as Nora lugged up her 49-pound suitcase up two broken escalators, waiting just behind her in case she needed help. That's who he is, always proud of the accomplishments of his students, no matter how small. It's been an honor to have such a caring principal who has shown such genuine interest in each of his students. Never short of encouragement and advice, he has shown each of us what it truly means to be a Globy. Class of 2022, please help me welcome our principal, Mr. Magadance. Thank you, Atasi, for that great introduction. Nora, I owe you a huge apology. I'm so sorry. I didn't know those bags were that heavy. Um, but you did it. Well done. ISA class of 2022, I see you. Got it. Friends, family, and distinguished guests and colleagues, I see you. You guys did it. Well done. Way to follow the model. All right. On behalf of the ISA faculty and staff, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to the Class of 2022's commencement ceremony, honoring our graduates and their many accomplishments over these last four years. This year, we celebrate 100 students who have all earned the recommended or foundation plan diplomas. And in this group of graduates, we also recognize 13 National Merit Scholars. And we aren't the only ones to recognize this class and their excellence. Colleges and universities across this nation see so much potential in these young men and women that as of this morning, the class has been offered more than $9.1 million in scholarships and awards and has accepted over $4.1 million in awards. While the, yeah, for sure. While these number, well, numbers like these reflect our students' academic preparation for college and beyond, the class of 2022 is also leaving ISA globally competent through collaborative projects, service, travel, internships, portfolio presentations, and our favorite word, reflection. This year, they've also taken action to lead our campus back into in-person learning and our travel experiences. These students have been investigating and exploring their world, discovering its existing and new complexities and wonders. They have learned to recognize perspectives, understanding the origins of their own worldview, and lifting up the views of others. They have shared their learning with audiences across the globe, including professionals, mentors, and international visitors in multiple settings across diverse communities. They've done this on Zoom, although less regularly this year, and some of them have managed to be very patient and, well, actually all of them have been managed to be very patient and perseverant through one of the most surreal stretches of our school's history. Apart from being scholars and campus leaders, they are contributors to this world. Through all of their experiences, both familiar and new, our seniors have been challenged to take substantive action in their local and global communities. Our seniors have navigated new ways to complete community service, and these graduates have spent hours upon hours finding and completing an internship experience, either in person uh, and learning from or, or virtual and learning from professionals in a chosen field. 
Members of the class of 2022 have also served as ISA ambassadors with our partner schools around the world, and a few of them early in their careers were able to host international students from our sister schools in Japan, South Korea, and Germany. Seniors, it's been a long road and a weird high school experience for all of you. When you started here at ISA, we were in a really solid place and you made it almost all the way through your halfway through your high school career and then COVID. Now we don't need to go over how much COVID turned this community upside down, so I won't repeat much more, but here we are and I'm confident in saying that you all, and I'm proud of how you handled these last two years. As a class, you have dem demonstrated resilience and creativity. You figured out how to host 800 high school delegates at ISA, at ISA, for our first hybrid months of conference this year. And you navigated Washington, D.C., as we heard Atasi talk about, when the city was in this weird, open, kind of closed thing during the Omicron variant. I think it's also appropriate to say that you are courageous. It's another great word to describe your class. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but it was right before we went to the DC trip and I came into the flex space and you are preparing the final stages of your trip books to go to the, to, the, uh, to the DC experience. And we started talking about expectations for travel. Uh, we hadn't been in a couple years, so it made sense to me to review some of those things. And I started talking about how it means that you have to be aware of what's going on around you. I may have used the phrase situational awareness. I may have also used the phrase, you need to keep your head on a swivel. Do you guys remember that? So at one point, after I made all the uh, space for Nico's questions, then, good, I'm glad that joke went. Once I made that space and we got those questions answered, I decided it was important to ask a question. I made this summation or this surmisement. I said, I think that most of us or all of us want to go on this trip. You may not have remember how you reacted to that statement, but I was watching you and all of you went, yeah, we want to go. And so we did. And one thing you may not know about those trips is that each evening after we've done the room checks, Teachers come back and parents came back and we debriefed the day. You should have heard the way that the parents and our, my colleagues were talking about how professional and prepared you were for this really weird travel experience. It was amazing and it helped me remember why we travel with students. And it was our first trip back this year. All the other grade levels traveled after you guys did. So you led us back into knowing that travel could be possible and we could prepare to safely do it. So I appreciate that for you, or appreciate that from you. Your courageousness and your creativity have allowed you to weather challenges that have led you to, to led to this celebration that we have today. And I wanna say one more thing about resilience. You all have probably heard more in this class, no, or I'm not sure that's possible because of the last two years. But you didn't let that stop you. In fact, you actively looked for ways to circumvent those statements and do what you wanted to do anyway. And as a result, we have things like the, Unit, uh, the Unity Club and Feminists United. You've also served as a model for those students who are following you. You may not have known this, but some younger classmates of yours, they wanted to do something in response to the events of this last week. And they tried and they did a really great job and we talked about it and debriefed it, but you have sent or ste stepped up and created a model for activism for students, taking action to make change. And I'm proud of you and thankful to you all for doing that. And while my beard is a little bit whiter and the hair on my head is a little bit thinner and perhaps my demeanor is more serious than it has been since you were ninth graders, I want you to know that I have enjoyed, I have loved all four years that I've gotten to spend with you. And it has been a privilege to have that time with you. I mean that, y'all. While you drive me crazy, I love you for that. We love you for that. Class of 2022, I see you, and I am so elated that we are here together today. Congratulations. This morning, we are pleased to introduce our stage guests who are with us today to share in our graduation ceremony. Please stand when your name is called. We ask the audience hold your applause until the end. Our stage guests are members of the NEISD Board of Trustees, 
Ms. Sharon, Shannon Grona, Member and President, Northeast Board of Trustees. Ms. Terry Williams, Member and Vice President, Northeast Board of Trustees. Ms. Sandy Huey, Member, Member and Secretary, Northeast Board of Trustees. Mr. David Beyer, Member, Northeast Board of Trustees. Mr. Stephen Hilliard, Member, Northeast Board of Trustees. Ms. Diane Skiba Villarreal, Member, Northeast Board of Trustees. Northeast Executive Staff, Dr. Sean Micah, Superintendent of Schools NAISD. Mr. Daniel Villarreal, Chief Financial, Financial Officer. Mr. Rudy Jimenez, Chief of Schools and Leadership. Mr. Anthony Jarrett, Chief Instructional Officer. Dr. Anthony Mitchell, Chief Operations Officer. Other stage guests, Mr. Stephen Magadance, our principal. Ms. Kelly Young, ISA teacher and name reader. Ms. Caroline O'Malley, ISA senior teacher and name reader. Ms. Ileana Sherry, our faculty speaker for graduation. Ethan Guerrero, ISA graduate and co-masters of ceremonies. Casey Clevenger, ISA graduate and senior speaker. We would also like to recognize and thank a few others who are playing important roles in our graduation ceremony this morning. Dr. Justin Oxley, Executive Director of Campus Administration. Mrs. Christy Wilbur, Executive Director of Student Support Services. Mr. Jason Gattel, Director of Media Production and his team for today's live stream. Finally, we want to recognize the entirety, entire faculty from Lee, NISA, and STEM, as well as former ISA faculty and Trinity interns who are here today. Would you all please stand to be recognized? Thank you. His spark of inspiration to be our superintendent started during his childhood in a small town within Canada. Dr. Micah realized that education does not always need to be soulless lectures, but an immersive learning environment with caring faculty. He proceeded to exert his mind and ears to listen to the community of NEISD to understand what changes need to be made within our campuses. However, before he can take action, wink, he had to investigate the world, wink, if you, if you guys getting it, <laughs> by experiencing education from the perspective of a teacher, a parent, and a student within the span of 30 years, Dr. Micah has tirelessly worked to listen and understand the NIC community through the virtual and in-person environment. As he once said, I think there's so much that we can learn and I believe wholeheartedly in listening to understand before I need to respond. He has held this model for so long that his goal is to ensure that students know their opportunities, possibilities, and their potential and amplifying excellence in our San Antonio community. Dr. Micah, have you ever considered yourself a Globy? Because I say sees you, you get, get where I'm going with that? As a global citizen, please welcome our superintendent, Dr. Sean Micah. Good morning, class of 2022. You've come to the end of a journey and are about to embark on another. Along the way, I'm sure that some of you received words of wisdom and advice from the teachers that are sitting behind you. I recently heard a graduating senior share a quote from one of his teachers that put life in perspective for him. The quote from the teacher was, you didn't come this far only to come this far. The teacher was essentially saying, you have invested so much in getting here. Why stop now? Keep going. You have arrived at what will be just one of many destinations. And I know that for some of you, this journey has had its challenges. You have endured late nights, personal challenges, school challenges, and endured challenges that you may not have even shared with your friends or your family. But the fact is that you've made it but you're only getting started. Many of you are heading to college or plan to enter the workforce or may have already enlisted in a branch of the military. You are now prepared to take the next step and you possess the tools needed to achieve at the next level. Allow me to combine the words from this teacher with the wise words of a Greek philosopher. The key is to keep company only with the people who uplift you whose presence calls forth your best. 
In modern language, this means hang around people who help you become the success that you were born to be. You can be profoundly changed by the positive attitudes, encouragement, and advice of the people around you. You are here because chances are you associated with teachers, friends, and family who encouraged you and supported you. They brought out your best, and your best is what you need to succeed in your next endeavor. You are going to meet many people. Some may uplift you, and others may not. It is only a matter of time that you will encounter people who will feed your desire to be your best. One of this nation's founding fathers said that if you want to be something you have never had, you must be willing to do something you have never done. You've pushed yourself hard. You demonstrated that you possess strength, courage, persistence, and endurance. This morning you have proven to yourself that you will do and can do what it takes to succeed in your next journey. You are prepared. You are equipped. Remember, you didn't come this far to stop now. Be the positive force that leaves your unique impression on this world. Congratulations, Class of 2022. Our next speaker shows each and every one of us what it means to be cordial. Over the past four years, he has challenged us to recognize perspectives and consider new ideas. He may not always agree with you, but he will always treat you with respect. Incredibly creative, confident, and engaging, he truly embodies what it means to be a Globy. And of course, who can forget his style? A man who is always dressed for the occasion, his unique personality is infused in everything he does. We are certainly eagerly awaiting all the amazing things he will accomplish as he moves on to the next chapters of his life. Please help me welcome this year's class speaker, Mr. Casey Clevenger. Would you look at the time? I believe it's time I give myself a senior reflection. <laughs> well, first of all, good morning, everyone. Well, here we are after all this time, graduation day. This is truly an important moment in all of our lives. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today to celebrate all of our wonderful graduates. For those of you who don't know who I am, and I'm guessing that's quite a lot of people in the audience, my name is Casey Clevenger, and I am a proud graduating senior of the International School of the Americas Class of 2022. For the past four years, it's been quite a ride. I'm very blessed and privileged to have been selected for this opportunity to lead everyone in our senior reflection. Now, usually when people get assigned to do this, they go on forever and ever. And heck, my dad, who you can see in the audience over there, he told me that a guy who was giving a similar speech in high school took almost half an hour and people were quite literally slumped over falling asleep. So right now, I'm gonna try and do two things with this. I'm gonna try and make it memorable and at the very least, make it short. Because come on, this is graduation day. After we get out of here, there's gonna be a lot of parties. Now, if I could describe ISA to outsiders, I would describe it as a high school where the people that study and teach here are our greatest strength. Since 1994, this school has been instilling the values that have taught us what makes not only this country so great, but the world as well. For almost 30 years, the values of investigating the world, recognizing different perspectives, and of course, taking action, have been taught here well and good. This institution really shows us how diverse our world truly is. During our time here, we have really confirmed this to be true. The things that make us different are what make us who we are, and despite that, we've all grown close regardless of our background and ideals. That truly is a wonderful thing. We have seen a lot in our four years together, from the mountains of Arkansas 
to the steps of Capitol Hill. We've journeyed throughout the United States together, and I'm very proud of every single one of you. Everyone in this room who is earning a beautiful diploma today, I have a good feeling about. There is no reason why anyone in this room should be unsuccessful in their future endeavors within the next 10 years. You are all bright, intelligent, diligent, and downright outstanding people. The strongest bonds usually start in the simplest of places. I've heard many stories of people from freshman year just simply sitting down together and talking to each other. And about four years later, they're best friends. The friendships you've made in a classroom or extracurricular activity will last a lifetime. I can be certain of that. I'm also very proud to announce that many of us have gotten into renowned colleges and universities across the country, some of which are in the great state of Texas. The University of Texas at Austin, UTSA, Texas A&M University. <laughs> some of you are even going to become Ivy Leaguers. You've applied to schools such as Cornell and have been accepted into Columbia, Harvard, and so many others. You should all feel a sense of accomplishment in that. However, you should always be ready. Now, it's a certainty that every new chapter of life is scary. What is also certain is that it is not going to be boring. It is most definitely going to be exciting. With every mistake you will make, you will have more triumphs in your life than failures because you have done one thing, and that's learn from what went wrong. If we all do that, I think we're all going to have easier lives. We are all still so young and may seem small right now in terms of experience, as we all have a lot to learn. However, there's a saying. It's a Latin phrase. Sic parvis magna. That translates to so great and so small. ISA started out that way, and look at us now. Over 100 students who are about to venture into the next part of life, adulthood. Even if you don't go to college, everyone will use the values they've been taught to work towards success. When we receive that diploma on this stage, you will be one of many Globies to completed your next step into a new world. And for that, you should feel proud and ready. I think you all are. If I'm going to end this, I'm going to do this the best way I can. You've all been a wonderful audience, and for the class of 2022, the world is ready for what you have to offer. I wish you all the best of luck, and I don't like saying goodbye. And as a matter of fact, I hate saying goodbyes. Instead, I'll say this. Thank you all once again for your time. Congratulations once again to the class of 2022 and to the parents, faculty, staff, and anyone else who helped forge these young adults before you. Thank you for helping secure a brighter future for this world by mentoring a great generation. Without you, this class will be nowhere near as great as they are today. And for that, I applaud you. Good luck out there, everyone. Thank you. With a personality as colorful as her outfits, she's considered the gentle mother that watches over the students. Whether we were good or bad, she always remained there for us. She has been the kindest person to us during our freshman year and sophomore years in ISA. In this period, she has offered us guidance and advice as well, uh, I lost my place, as well as watched us become more independent and mature as people. She may even know us better than our parents. No offense, by the way. I remember when she started teaching us during our first year at ISA. Do y'all remember the APE format where you had to write the answer, proof, and evidence? Which is the style I'm writing in this essay. How, how good am I doing so far? Awesome. She always knew how to make the class engaging by using brain breaks. Oh, brain breaks. Where we love to play beach ball, walkabouts, and those ecstatic icebreakers too. 
She has not only educated us on the values of English and public speaking, but she has educated her colleagues too. Outside of the classroom, she showed teachers the true ISA way of teaching by bringing their charisma to the classroom and making it engaging for students to even learn in any type of environment. I can bet you right now, she can look at everyone she has made an impact on and say, I am proud of you guys. You have grown so much from the day I saw you. I will miss you when I leave. Let's give it up for this year's faculty speaker, Miss Sherry. Gosh, Ethan's trying to make me cry before I even speak. When thinking about how to start this speech, I knew y'all would be expecting a thesis. In part because many of y'all came up to me and said, are you gonna start your speech with a thesis? We spent two years together crafting precise and structured thesis statements with thoughtful counter arguments, diverse reasons, and a clear repetition of the prompt. I am proud of you all for that work, but now as you leave high school, it's time to break the rules. You learned them, you understand them, and now you can wisely diverge from those expectations or align as you see fit. This speech will be a practice in breaking those expectations of structure. Let's just talk. Let's take this time to recognize the community you've built, the accomplishments you've made, and the better future I'm confident you will help to bring forth. Almost exactly 10 years ago, I was where you are now, except as I looked across the aisles at my high school graduation, I thought, who in the hell were these people? And this was not in the existential way we all wonder about self and identity, but rather in the way where I clearly had not had a single conversation with over 400 people graduating with me. Yet this seemed the norm to me. In Texas, we have big schools. In Texas, our graduations are hours long because that's how long it takes to read 500 names or more. And that's what I thought I wanted from teaching too. I remember eight years ago, my professors asked me if I wanted to work at a place like ISA. And I said, no, <laughs> those kids don't need me. I wanna work at a bigger school where I can have a bigger impact. I took classes as a college student with placements at ISA and I liked it, but I remained unconvinced. I did a graduate placement at ISA and I loved it, but my happiest moments were at another school because those months at ISA were filled with so much personal tragedy. It wasn't until the graduation of 2018, after working there a whole year, that I truly realized how special ISA was. The ISA graduation in 2018 was also hours long. I was shocked and honestly a little annoyed when I heard the initial timeline. How could it take several hours for 110 students to walk across a stage? But as I sat there in Trinity's auditorium, I could feel my whole perspective shift. An ISA graduation was not just a reading of names. It was a place for multiple languages, for moving speeches by teachers who loved their students, for the thought-provoking words of those students themselves, and for moving musical numbers. For this class I barely knew, I was still in the audience smiling and crying for them. All of this made me realize ISA's greatest strength, forging a community. Even though we aren't rocking at Trinity's auditorium this year, you all have carried on the mantle of creating a community. And by the time I taught you for the first time in the fall of 2018, I was just as firmly committed to building a community with you. In many ways, I think of you as my class because of that strong community we built together. It was at times hard won through class karaoke, half the class was only willing to do to extend the brain break one minute longer. Through a synchronized breakdown the Friday before our New Mexico travel, a group hug in the hallway as we cried and screamed our overwhelmed emotions away through musket madness rap battles and contentious nuclear town hall decisions, through harrowing cold at Heifer that forced us inside in the face of years of tradition. All these memories helped us forge a communal bond 
But what is most impressive about the class of 2022, you all maintained these bonds through a global pandemic. The week before the pandemic came crashing down on us, we were building advocacy fair posters and counting down the days to spring break. And one student turned to me and asked if I thought we would close down schools. I laughed, I said, no, we live in Texas. They're not gonna close down our schools. And if they do, we'll just make up those days at the end of the year. Well, that student has every right to say I told you so because we never got to say goodbye as student and teacher in person. We went off to spring break and a week extension became a whole quarter taught at home. I remember the weekly social emotional check-ins over Padlet, creating a creative writing Google Classroom and making daily phone calls and emails home to check in on y'all and keep you connected. But more than that, I remember despite these steps, how lonely we all were. Group projects, class discussion, and collaboration were a thing of the past that quarter. These tenants of teaching at ISA were put on hold as we all just tried to make it to the end of the school year. And through all the hardships, you persisted. It wasn't easy and it wasn't fun, but that is persistence, trying again and again in the face of difficulties. You all understood to maintain a community, you must celebrate the victories as much as commiserate in the defeats. So let's dwell on the good for a bit. Your class started the mental health club. In fact, you all won money at Speak Up, Speak Out that provided the posters, bean bags, and calming tools that have helped cultivate a calming and safe space for two subsequent classes. You all started the Clean Cut for College Club supporting each other in your dreams of furthered education and avoiding student loans. A goal I can say from the other side is well worth it. You all started Feminist United with Ms. Foster, continued with Ms. Puentes, organizing drives for menstrual products and creating a safe space for women and gender nonconforming students. You all tackled a hybrid in-person and virtual MUNSA at a new location with new safety guidelines. You all started Diversity Club, first sponsored by Mr. Brown and then championed by Ms. Pena. In those club meetings, you brought your community together, discussing both the hard things like racism, sexism, mental illness and oppression, and the joyous, celebrating heritage months and giving space for people to be themselves. In those meetings, I saw you all become leaders facilitating discussions and encouraging underclassmen, extending your community as a class to the whole school. Your efforts continued our bonds of community even when group members had transferred to different schools and when half the class was still learning at home. Your voices have been heard by your teachers, admin and district as you tried to make our campus a more equitable place. And in all these ways, and so many others, you have shaped ISA. Sometimes it can be easy to look around and think things have always been the way that they are. That's why change can feel so scary. But that's not true. Not in the world and not at our school. We didn't always have week-long travel experiences. We used to have Spanish teachers on every grade level team. We used to have classes with acronyms like Worlding and Ingwap. Traditions come and go by the people there to make them or break them. You have been an incredible class that has introduced a lot of new and positive changes at ISA. You are also a class that has been vocal about what still needs to change. And I don't wanna overlook those criticisms. I still the rem remember the feedback from some especially when Ms. Pena and I taught together. There was just too much positivity, energy, and optimism in one place. Well, I'll let you in on a secret. I describe myself as a realist, which we all know is just code for everyone else thinks I'm a pessimist. And yet, I believe wholeheartedly that you are part of making this world and our school a better place. 
The criticisms you've developed for ISA do not degrade our community. It is part of a good community. You all saw the areas of the school you wanted to be better, and you fought for them, because you know that we can be better. And even if you can't see it now, I assure you your teachers and admin who have seen this school grow and change over many years know that you have made a positive impact. Take this same energy and belief into the world and the new communities you will shape. I know there's a lot of bad in the world right now, yet the world can be better and it will be. I know you will be part of that improvement and it's not a Gen Z thing. Resistance and a push for change is historical. And I know you understand your place within that long line of history. Resistance is communal. We strengthen each other's resolve and provide support and shelter in the hard moments. You have done those things already at our school. So I ask you to pers persist out there beyond our school walls Take what you've learned and the community you've built and use those as supports as you work to create a kinder, safer world for us all. We may all be moving on today, but as we move further from each other, it just means we have a wider net of support. Now my speech so far has been more of a conversation, although a slightly rude one where I won't let you get a word in edgeways. But I want to end by aligning with the structural expectations for a conclusion. It's time to restate my claim in a new way and give a so what. So, class of 2022, I love you all. And I'm proud of each and every one of you. I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. Will the senior class of 2022 please rise? Dr. Micah, the administration and faculty of the International School of the Americas do hereby certify that the members of the class of 2022 have completed all of the requirements for the secondary level of education as prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Northeast Independent School District Board of Trustees. It is therefore my recommendation that the Board of Trustees of the Northeast Independent School District confer upon each member a high school diploma with all the rights, privileges, and honors rightfully bestowed upon them. I take great pleasure in presenting to you the International School of the Americas Senior Class of 2022. Mrs. Grona. As superintendent, I hereby certify that the class of 2022 of the International School of the Americas has met the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Northeast Independent School District. Will the class please be seated? Globies, you did it. What a unique high school experience you have had. You took a challenging time and became flexible, resilient, determined, and brave. You persevered and made the best of this unprecedented time. We are so proud of you. Parents and guardians, thank you for everything that you've done to help your child have a successful academic journey. I know that today is an emotional one for you but your child is ready to spread their wings and fly. Seniors, graduation is a time of reflection, a time to look in the rearview mirror and think about what you've accomplished, but it's also a time to look through the windshield and focus on what lies ahead. There's a reason that the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror. It's time to face new challenges and adventures. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Be passionate about what you do. Have patience, 
gratitude, and forgiveness. Speak kindly, love generously, have integrity, dream big, and don't ever give up. Don't fear failure. It can make you stronger and more determined to achieve your goals. Today, you are starting a new chapter in your life, 365 blank pages to create. You decide what goes in them. I wish you courage to be yourself and follow your own path. Sometimes you have to step outside your comfort zone to make your dream come true. Strive to be your best every day and fill your blank pages to make it the best chapter ever. As a mom, I love when Admiral William McRaven told the 2014 UT graduates to make your bed. You will have accomplished the first task of the day. It reinforces the fact that the little things matter. If you can't do the little things right, you will never do the big things right. So remember, your life is defined by the little things and the big things. Learn to celebrate both. Class of 22, make your bed. It will make your mom happy. Face each day with an open heart and mind. Keep a childlike sense of wonder. Go out and change the world and have fun doing it. Mr. Magadance, Dr. Micah, as a member of the Board of Trustees of the Northeast Independent School District, it is my honor and privilege to confirm and accept the certification of the Class of 2022 of the International School of the Americas in accordance with the requirements as prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Northeast Independent School District. Good luck and God bless you all. Seniors, please stand. As conferred graduates, it is now time for you to move your tassel from the right to the left as a symbol of your status as a graduate of the International School of the Americas. Natalia Gutierrez Adam, summa cum laude. Jameson Duncan Adams, summa cum laude. Kira Joy Allen, cum laude. Erica Celeste Anguiano, summa cum laude. Joseph Bacall, summa cum laude. Miriam Natalie Barba, summa cum laude.
Ethan Joseph Bingochea. Timothy Sean Berlanga, summa cum laude. Gabriella Blangiardo, summa cum laude. Nora Elizabeth Breidenbaugh, summa cum laude. Mitchell Theodore Brylak, cum laude. Vanessa Castanon, summa cum laude. Mark Eric Castro, magna cum laude. Casey Joe Clevenger, magna cum laude. Trey Sebastian Correa, summa cum laude. Amaya Tene County. Oline Alvaro Colbert Mendoza, cum laude. Alexa Ariane de Luna, summa cum laude. Jacqueline Delgado, magna cum laude. Nicholas Thomas Diarte, summa cum laude. Allison Claire Diaz, summa cum laude. Mia Isabella Di Domenico. Gabriela Nicole Dominguez, summa cum laude. Ivy Lynn Duran, cum laude. Ozila Espitia, summa cum laude. Eva Mariel Fajardo, summa cum laude. Ricardo Falan. Sid Christopher Victor, summa cum laude. Alec Garcia, summa cum laude. Alexandra Blue Garrett Estrada, magna cum laude. Jillian Jolene Garza, summa cum laude. Mathis Irwin Gibbons, magna cum laude. Derek Gaston Gomez, summa cum laude. Santiago Gonzalez Gamba. Elena Lily Gorlick, summa cum laude. Mariana Paz Guisueta Escobar, summa cum laude. Christian Adrian Granado, summa cum laude. Kara Jude Grimes, summa cum laude. Richard Ray Guerra, cum laude. Ethan James Guerrero, summa cum laude. (laughs) 
John Alexander Gustin, magna cum laude. Brooke Harrison, summa cum laude. Alexander Peace Hartshorn, summa cum laude. Janessa Giselle Hernandez, magna cum laude. Noah Emilio Herrera, magna cum laude. Jonathan Daniel Ojeda, magna cum laude. Hannah Dawn Huron, summa cum laude. John Koithara Orejas John. Alexandra Jean Kazan, summa cum laude. Davis Jacob Kelly, summa cum laude. Samuel James Lackey, summa cum laude. Boston Justin Leonard, summa cum laude. Logan Brewster Lewis, summa cum laude. Carmen Angela Lazaraga, summa cum laude. Jason Gordon Love, summa cum laude. Ethesi Matavushi, summa cum laude. Hima Esmeralda Maldonado. Pilar Isabel Maldonado, summa cum laude. John Andrew Martinez, magna cum laude. Serena Charlene McLean. Evan Lowell McEwen, summa cum laude. Tess Maylin McGill, summa cum laude. Carter McManus, magna cum laude. Anjali Samir Mehta, summa cum laude. Maya De Menesis, summa cum laude. Shivani Modadagu, summa cum laude. Jude Myron Morris, magna cum laude. Brendan Michael Murray, cum laude. Miyakota Elizabeth Nutt, summa cum laude. Raina Isabel Nutt, summa cum laude. Irene Otterbach, summa cum laude. Israel Isidro Pena, magna cum laude. Sarahi Perez, Matsuma cum laude. Jonathan Oren Perloff, magna cum laude. Alana Carolina Price, cum laude. Atlee Jet Ragnar, cum laude.
Frida Sofia Ramirez II, summa cum laude. Eva Elizabeth Ronhell, summa cum laude. Moeen Mohamed Razak, summa cum laude. Alyssa Jade Regner, summa cum laude. Ariana Felice Reina, summa cum laude. Diego Rivera, magna cum laude. Elisa Lodres Rivera, summa cum laude. Kira Nicole Robertson, magna cum laude. Gabriela Nicole Robles, summa cum laude. Jose Alejandro Robles, summa cum laude. Sierra Maria Salas, summa cum laude. Valeria Salceda, summa cum laude. Alexandra Maria Sig, summa cum laude. Daniel KG Suarez, magna cum laude. Jake Maxwell Solis, magna cum laude. Sophia Mardigan Spurlock. Andrea Nicole Tadei, summa cum laude. Meredith English Tice, summa cum laude. Carlos Sebastian Tinajero, summa cum laude. Victoria Grace Trevino, summa cum laude. Jane Catherine Yulstead, summa cum laude. Noah Roy Vasquez, magna cum laude. Madeline Elise Velarde. Andres Esteban Weirden, summa cum laude. Diego Alexander Weirden, summa cum laude. May Elizabeth Weirbach, summa cum laude. Alexander James Weiss, summa cum laude. Avi Sabel White, summa cum laude. Bo Allen Wilson, summa cum laude. Emmett Glenn Wilson, magna cum laude. Paulina Michelle Zamora Briano, magna cum laude.
freshman team takes on the challenge of teaching new students how to investigate the world by using ISA's core values and critical thinking skills. They lit our candles as we explored the quirkiness of ISA through our travel, Munsa, and advocacy experience. The sophomore team fueled the flame as we recognized the different perspectives of cultures through acculturation and assimilation. They allowed us to explore indigenous and international cultures by opening our eyes to the world around us. Although our flame was starting to fade, the junior team will fan our flames through their determination by allowing us to communicate ideas behind the black screen. We learned that our voices are not silent and that we can advocate for ourselves through academics even during a period of isolation. The senior team took action by adapting their minds and teaching skills through an oddly familiar in-person learning environment. Despite the challenges we face this year, they have taught us that we can take action with our community by preserving our traditions here at ISA. Most importantly, they kept the flame burning to this moment. We would also like to thank the electives and world language teachers for allowing us to explore our interests. Some say that these classes allowed our fire to change colors. They even gave us the knowledge needed to appreciate language, culture, science, and math to better define ourselves on our path to global citizenship. We would also like to recognize and honor two ISA teachers who are retiring. Thank you, Bertha Galan, for the 27 years of service teaching Spanish to ISA students and sponsoring the ISA Spanish Honor Society. Please give a round of applause to Bertha Galan. We also like to thank you, Mitzi Moore, for the 24 years of service teaching ISA students chemistry and digital media and sponsoring the Inter Interact Club. Please give a round of applause to Mitzi Moore. <laughs> Your warmth, caring, and innovation has helped shape generations of future leaders and the class of 2022 and the Globies we are today. Thank you both. Our fire can burn on forever now. Thank you faculty for feeling our desire to learn these past four years. You, can, you put your time, heart, and soul into this very moment. The class of 2022 will remember you all as dedicated, passionate, and patient educa educators. Thank you for supporting us. Please give a round of applause to our faculty. As we close out our ceremony today, let us reflect one last time together as a class. We have learned so much from each other, taught each other so much. We've experienced so much and grown so much with each other. Although we may be each moving on to our own separate paths in life, I know we will always cherish and remember our special ISA community. Over the years, we have seen the incredible strength of this community, offering support, encouragement, and kindness to each one of us. Beyond this is the importance of our global community, our global perspectives as Globies demonstrates our connectedness to the world, irrefutable evidence of our obligation to exist as guardians of the global community. 
equally, we have recognized the power of this community. Each one of us has the power to truly change the world, and many of us have already begun to do so. As Stan Lee once said, if you have an idea that is genuinely good, do not let someone talk you out of it. We have individuals here committed to serving our country through STEM, philosophy, and advocacy. Those who are problem solvers and creative thinkers are the true Globy spirit. They are committed to helping and giving back to the world of tomorrow, no matter what comes in their way. Now it is time for us to move on to the next chapters in our lives. We will now build our own community, investigate new parts of the world, and take on new challenges. It's time to pursue what we burn for, to make new connections and continue to be global citizens. And most importantly, to take action to change the world around us. Congratulations, Congratulations I say class of 2022! Woo!